Hi all, it's uh, Ross here from Thomas Classic and Modern. Uh, I just thought I'd do a quick little video today on our oil pressure build procedure on a fresh build. Um, as you probably know, we only use zero tolerance oil pumps, uh, which are done for us by AC Dodd. Uh, we've been using them now for probably seven or eight years, I would imagine, something like that. Um, so I just thought I'd do a, a quick little uh, video before I fire this engine up um, of exactly how the oil pressure builds with these pumps. Okay, so here we've got uh, one of our road torque units. Uh, this is a completely fresh build, uh, not done anything at all to this yet, but um, fill it with oil and um, connect up everything associated with our test bed. Uh, we'll do a video a bit later on of us uh, running this up as a uh, fresh unit ready for the customer to install. Uh, we're not actually installing this one, which we usually do. Um, but long story short, the oil pumps themselves, before we fit them, uh, we use our build lube, which in this case is the Torco MPZ. Again, been using this for many years. Oil pump itself has been filled with this. Um, no other priming done. Whenever I fill the engines with oil, I always fill the filter as well. Um, and that's all that has happened in this case. Uh, and from here on in, it's exactly the same procedure as we would use for any of them. Um, so we will literally, a couple of squirts of 2050 engine oil down the bore. As I say, this is a fresh build anyway. There's plenty of oil and lubrication in these bores. Um, I'm probably the world's worst when it comes to building engines in so much as I use oil absolutely everywhere. Um, and that's it, that's literally all we do. This is obviously a, a part of our test bed, um, just literally connected up to a, a battery, got it on the booster. Um, it does sometimes take a little bit out of them, cranking over from fresh. Uh, but that is it. This is as far as it goes in terms of all we need to do now is turn the key, ignition on. And then how I do it is literally uh, a short burst. I do that just a couple of times. If you're wondering what the spinning noise is, it is running a high torque starter and they are horrendously noisy. And then once I've done that a couple of times, I just let it spin over and generally it comes up as quick as you like. There's a little 10 second burst. that is it 75 psi on cranking is ample um, obviously it'll settle down but that is the reason we use these oil pumps they are absolutely fantastic um, we've never had any issues with them at all uh, especially now coupled with our own gaskets which we use for the oil pumps which are made of a much better much better material um, we have had issues before with oil pump gaskets since we've had those made uh, by uh, Mark Wynn Smith at Smithy's Bits, who gets those commissioned for us. We've had no issues at all. We do retail these oil pumps uh, to the general public. Generally, we have a good stock of them. We can also get them done as one-offs, as um, pin drives, spider drive, uh, early 998s, etc., whatever you need, no issue whatsoever. But we do always carry both 1275 and 998 slot drives in stock if you would like to purchase one of those oil pumps by all means get in contact uh, we are on all the social media sites facebook etc uh, you can find us there on uh, under thomas classic and modern or drop us an email at info at thomas classic and modern.com uh, we'd be more than happy to supply that for you um, 
Look out for the next video where I'm going to run through the cam braking procedure that we use uh, on a fresh build uh, on that very engine. Uh, so yeah, look, look out for that next and uh, we'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching.